Hey. Hey. Doing good. good. Y'all better come through with the dresses. I see y'all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One of my first questions, just let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's talk about our little backyard barbecue of bring the exes. Okay. <laughs> I need to know, were you going to get your man back or were you just trying to get some closure? I was, it was a little flirting going on, honey. I do not, not recall. <laughs> I don't recall any flirting. <laughs> um, no, I had no intentions of getting him back I didn't really have an afterthought about him at all after the pods like in our, our last conversation there like I said my piece and that was kind of it for me that was my closure that was that was it I will find you you say it was closure that's fine I'm gonna ride with you okay but I you gotta stick beside me on that one <laughs> I'm, sitting you. I'm sitting beside you but okay. I do love that you talk more about what it means to be dating with a child. I really love that inclusion for this season. So how has it been like knowing that you're going to be able to usher in like a new viewpoint of dating people with kids? I'm so excited about that. I hope that my story and me kind of taking the leap of faith to do something so unconventional and so, and I'm, I'm not naive to the fact that it's not going to be well received by everyone, but I'd like to remind everyone you cannot really judge unless you have lived it and experienced it. But I'm so excited to see single parents, single moms and dads in the future maybe decide to do an experience like this. Well, look, AD all day. We got to talk honey, all day. You know, I really want to know because it, it pained me because I was really rooting for you and Clay. And I really wanted to know, like, what was your thought process like going into it? Like, did you feel like, hey, like he's going to make this commitment? Or did you kind of buy into the hints that it seemed like he was kind of dropping throughout the season that he just wasn't ready to be a husband? I... It was 50-50, and, you know, it just kind of went based off what he was telling me in that moment, and I took it day by day with Clay. However, I was very optimistic. I thought, you know, we made it this far. I feel like, you know, Clay, anything is possible with Clay, anything. He could take it one way or the other, and I was there for the ride. I, I just trusted that I would be okay in the end. And also, too, what was this whole shenanigans with Matthew, honey? Because they didn't show us this other woman. I need the answers, the details. <laughs> like, what was going on? Oh my gosh, Matthew, Matthew actually formed another connection with someone else and was happening, you know, to be telling that same person things that he was telling me. And so when it was coming out in the pods and in the lounge, it kind of caught me off guard because I was like, well, everyone that I'm talking to don't like you. And now you're talking and now someone's saying that they like you. So I was just confused. It, the math wasn't mathing. It's still not math, honey, and I'm just as confused, so you're not alone, all right? But, Amy, we got to talk about what what's happening now. Did we figure out the birth control situation or, like, because I do like that you talked about that because I don't think people understand, like, birth control isn't for everybody. So can you just walk through your emotions with trying to figure out the whole kids thing, which I was like, honey, can we get married first before we start doing this whole kids dance? But tell me your thoughts about it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it was definitely an important conversation to have if we were considering to get married. But, um, you know, I was very firm in my stance um, and I wanted to see his point of view. And I feel like he didn't shut me out either. He wanted to see my point of view and see how we could get across um, and, you know, still be successful in that sense. But, um, yeah, I feel like it was definitely challenging. It was difficult. Um, because it's not a conversation that you have every day. And the fact that it was received in the way that it was, um, it, I was definitely taken aback. But um, I feel like it was definitely a conversation that I was able to navigate freely and openly and, you know, I, without any worry with um, Johnny. So, Because I was going to have to step in. I was like, if he brings this up one more time, I'm going to step in myself. <laughs> <He's> like, no. <laughs> But also, too, for my, since we're talking about kids, for my last question, Jessica, I'm going to come back to you. Do you feel like Jimmy said no because you had a kid? Um, you know, that's not something I've thought about, and I don't want to think about it that way. I don't want to think about the fact that my daughter might not be, like, an addition to a relationship. For me, that's, like, a, a just, like, a cherry on top. Like, she and I are a package deal, and I think anyone who is with me is lucky to have both of us. Mm. So I don't... 
I that's not something I thought about. Okay, because I'm like, my girl got tens, tens across the board, so I'm trying to figure out why he didn't understand the choice that was in front of him. But okay. That's between him and God. You know, we might not ever know. We're going to give it up to the Lord. The Lord going to handle it for us, okay? Let me do it. <laughs> all the time, all right? But look, <laughs> I want to thank you all. I wish I had more time to talk to y'all because I have so many questions. But I look, know. you all look fabulous. I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I appreciate you. And I'm sending nothing but love and light all your ways. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are all of you doing today? Doing How, are you doing? How, you doing? How are you? I'm doing good. I feel like I've been immersed in your love lives for the past couple of weeks, so I'm here for it. And you know, one of the first questions that I have is for Clay. You know, I really enjoyed you talking about kind of like what you went through with your own parents' marriage and how that kind of affected you through the process. So I wanted to know from yeah. you, like, you know, kind of going through that, telling your story to to the whole world, you know, have you been able to speak with your father and kind of heal with him and your mom? You know, it's, uh, you know, one of the things in a black household where, you know, me and my dad, we have a good relationship and he's been, a, he's an amazing father. That was my first time actually speaking on in the sense of the infidelity that I experienced. It's, I haven't really kind of patched that up, but me and my dad have an amazing relationship. It's just one of the things that we just don't talk about as often. Uh, so I'm gonna be interested to see watching it back because that's my first time actually acknowledging it. Um, it's, a, it's a soft spot, like I, I would say in our family. So I'm gonna be interested watching that dynamic. Um, it felt like you were kind of dropping spoilers to AD in regards to, you know, your decision. You know, what was kind of that last thing that like made you feel steadfast and, you know, being like, I can't be the husband that you want me to be right now? That's a good question. I think for me, I just looked at myself in the mirror. I remember the Wednesday before uh, the wedding, I just looked at myself and asked myself, am I really a husband? Am I ready to, to do this? And I think I had more, um, I guess like hesitation than, than excitement. And I think that for me, like if you're gonna be married, that's something that you'd be 100% committed to. And I just would hate, cause I think AD is an amazing person I just would hate for me not to be fully invested or have hesitation going into the biggest day of our lives. Yeah, I respect that, I respect that. Now, Johnny, honey, we gotta talk about what was going on about this birth control, about not wanting to have kids. Like, you had me stressed out. Like, I was gonna have some kids. What, what was going on? I was, I was trusting the children this entire time. <laughs> um, but no, so the base of the whole thing was, is that one thing that really affected me a lot in this whole process was the timing aspect. And having, you know, you're engaged after roughly eight to nine days. You're married after like a month. I definitely want kids, but I wanna be able to actually enjoy the time with Amy and build a relationship then. Cause I feel like once you, if you start welcoming kids, it's the picture a little bit too fast. It adds another stress that might not, might've been like more preventable if you needed to. So that's like the big thing is like, I wanna make sure that it was the right timing and we actually had to build our relationship and make sure it was actually flourishing before we brought a kid to this world okay but we cool now we we didn't settle the kid issue oh, yeah. okay we yeah we are all good with that that is officially water on the bridge now but it was one of the topics that we talked about for i don't know i'd say probably like a week and it'd be like on and off so a lot of it would be we had to get more information we had to really talk about things we had to really see each other where we stood and that i feel like made our relationship so much stronger Okay, because I was like, if Johnny bring this up one more time, I'm going to step in and I'm going to put a therapist for y'all, okay? <laughs> it was it was a lot. <laughs> it's fair, it's fair. Trevor, honey, I was rooting for you. I was rooting Aww. for you, okay? Can we talk about kind of meeting back up with Chelsea? Because, you know, her boot thing was trying to establish some dominance in that moment. I was like, now you want to give her... Was he? Okay. He was. He was. I, I didn't know he was trying to establish dominance <laughs> in that moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I went into that. So Jimmy and I are friends in real life. Mm. And... Um, and in the show. Um, <laughs> and I went into that. I, I didn't know how Chelsea was feeling. I didn't talk to her. So I didn't know if her and Jimmy were doing amazing or they were doing horribly after the Dominican Republic. So I went into that just kind of, I want to see how Chelsea was doing. I didn't go in with an intention to steal her from Jimmy. And the second that she told me she was happy with him, I was like, okay, I like, I made my peace with it. 
I can be friends with both of them. Like, I'm just happy she's happy. After that, I kind of came to terms with that I wasn't going to try to make a move on Chelsea anymore. So we're still really good friends now. I love that. And it's cool. Okay, so we're not going to call you Mr. Trevor still your girl. It's fine. It's all right. <laughs> no, I'm not like that, dude. <laughs> Look, I just want to thank all of you. Just thank you for sharing your story with us. Just thank you for opening your hearts to us as well. I'm just sending nothing but love and light all your ways. And I just hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you. Thank you.